Your laptop thinks in ones and zeros. Every app, every website, it all reduces to billions of binary switches. But the world isn't binary. At the quantum level, it's about probability, entanglement and interference. That's what quantum computers are built to harness. Instead of bits, quantum computers use qubits. A classical bit can be either zero or one. A qubit can be zero, one or both at once, thanks to a property called superposition. This isn't science fiction, it's physics. A qubit is like a spinning coin, heads and tails at the same time, until you observe it. But it gets more interesting when you add more qubits. Two qubits can represent four states at once. Three gives you eight. Ten gives you 1,024. By the time you hit 300 qubits, you're working with more possible combinations than there are atoms in the universe. A quantum computer doesn't store all those values directly, but it can explore many of them in parallel during a computation. That's what gives quantum algorithms their edge. Add entanglement, a quantum link between particles, and you unlock even more power. Entangled qubits behave as one system even when separated. Change one and the other responds. This isn't communication. It's correlation built into the physics. Quantum algorithms use this to perform operations across huge data spaces without touching every point individually. Right now, quantum computers are small and error-prone. But in principle, they can solve certain problems that would take classical computers millions of years. Chemistry, simulating molecules like ammonia, caffeine or drug compounds. Optimization, finding best routes, investment strategies or energy configurations. Cryptography, Shaw's algorithm could one day break RSA encryption, changing how we protect data. Quantum computing isn't magic. It's engineering, physics and math converging. It's still early, though. Current quantum computers can only compute around 100 bits, and they are error-prone. Quantum computers are extremely sensitive to noise and interference. Their qubits must maintain delicate quantum states, so even tiny environmental disturbances can cause errors or destroy the computation. Unlike classical bits, quantum information can't be copied or backed up, so keeping it stable is one of the field's biggest technical challenges. Companies like IBM, Google and startups around the world are racing toward fault-tolerant, scalable systems. But much like the images we've seen of people using cranes to move early computers, which only had the processing power of a light switch, in the not-too-distant future, quantum computers will have defined our very reality. Thanks for watching, and please do subscribe.